So, I had a thought today. I was thinking I'd show you guys how uh, a step-by-step -step on how to carve an eagle. Yeah, not a bad idea, right? All right, so tools are loaded, I think. We got everything? <laughs> sure hope so. So, the eagle I wanna carve today and or show you guys how to do step by step. It's not, it's not gonna be like, oh damn, look at that thing, you know? Kinda blow your mind sort of bird. It's just the ones that I make in bulk. And it's quite easy to do. Even for uh, a beginner wood carver, we'll show you all the big cuts and then we'll just do the simple detailing. And I forgot my flap discs. That's what I needed. The truck is so dirty. All right, let's get set up. All right, so I've got all set up here, and uh, the, the key to any successful carving is picking out a chunk of wood you're comfortable working with. Usually you want some with a little bit more meat than you need, so if you do make a boo-boo, you can always fix it, right, instead of having something really tight. I think I'm gonna use a quarter log for this carving. I think I'm just gonna use this guy. Oh, there's all kinds of nasty bugs. Yeah. That's, uh, that's definitely our piece. So, your first step is just gonna be flattening out the base so it sits all nice and pretty on the log so when you carve it, it doesn't do a whole bunch of moving things. So, so for this cut, we'll be using the MS-362. All right, so we got our piece cut flat on the bottom. She's sitting relatively solid. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut in that, the entire back part of the bird, so. That's our first cut and it's the back. All right, so the next two cuts are gonna be on both sides of the bird. Now these, these cuts need to be straight off of each other. Now it makes the carving end up looking a hell of a lot better. So at this point we've got our wings and our back shaved off. So now we're gonna come in and we're gonna we're gonna just make the top a triangle and that'll determine where our wings are at and where we can start our chest and all that. So, so go right here. Very, very simple. Now you can you can kind of tell where the bird's going to be at now. And now we can go ahead and do the chest portion. At this point, we know where our head and our shoulders are going to be, so we can go ahead and do the 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 in the chest and then the leg crevice. So I'll, I'll kind of give you a spray paint out of what that'll be. This is our head. Our head's right there. Our chest is going to come down, and it's going to be parallel with the back for the most part. We're gonna bring it down right to about here and then we're gonna kick it forward. So that's gonna be our legs. All right, so for this, for these cuts we're using the, the MS-170 with the uh, with 20 inch bar on it. Just, uh, it's a little bit slower of a saw and it's more forgiving if you make a little bit of a mistake. Personally, suggest that if you're just starting off being a beginner and all that, um, don't dig the saw in like I did. I suggest making your cut and then meeting it again, and then dig your saw in and kind of watch on the top groove that where the top of your bar is, so you don't go too high or go too low. And uh, show you another trick right quick here. This is a hammer. You can find them at your local hardware store, and they're great for smashing things. So. Sometimes you make a cut, 
you don't always go through and you don't want to stick your saw back in because um, it's like oh it, it, it's moving pretty good but uh, I don't know where to cut so what you do is you go back in and you end up cutting too much off so you just, you just grab a little hammer stick it in there and do the little twist and it takes the piece right off and then you just left with a little chaff and it kind of shows you where you could have cut but there's that so at this point we we kind of have a rough idea of where our legs are going to be and they're they're definitely in this area here so what we're going to do is we're going to cut down and make this entire base level with itself but we're not going to touch the back end we're just going to go here and here and make it level on all sides except for the back i'll be using the farm boss it's uh, ms 271 with a 20 inch bar on it because it's a little bit more of an aggressive saw. Do where, where our wings are going to lie. And I don't actually have a marker on me. So I'm just going to freehand it and then I'll show you where the cuts are. So naturally I start from about where the front of the chest is and I bring it all the way down to where his tail is going to be about. And for these cuts I only use chain depth which is the thickness of the chain to the bar. And that's how deep you're going to want to go in on this. Just you know, it, it's, it's kind of a rule of thumb for me when I'm, when I'm doing exploratory cutting or shaping or just doing that. It, uh, like I said, it's more forgiving if you make a mistake. So now that we've got our wings cut, we're going to uh, bevel the back end to find where our tail is going to be. We're going to make two beveled cuts about halfway up the wing, and we're just going to taper them right down to a point onto where our base was flat. tapered these edges off and now we can kind of find where our tail is going to go but first what we're going to do is we're going to curve this end so it kind of looks like it's going flat in a sense so we're just going to cut from here up to about here to make it look uh, just smooth. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright so for our tail what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to dig in about a, a bar width from the base up and then we're just going to cut straight down and that'll be our tail. So we've got our bar width cut going up underneath and what I've proceeded to do is just kind of mark out where the tail is going to be and then we're going to cut off these sides and then just kind of shape the tail really quick and that will determine a lot about where the legs are going and all of that. We've got our tail cut out, now we can figure out where our legs are going to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little triangle with the chainsaw just under where our legs are at. Alright, 
so our triangle went all the way through, which is kind of key to figuring out where the legs are going to be at here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make another triangle, triangle in the front, and that'll determine where his two legs are going to be. So what we're doing next is we're just going to carve out the other side of the legs. Alright, so at this point in your carving, you've got the vast majority of the shaping done. Alright, so for your head, uh, you've got a flat with a point on it. So we're just going to make that point all the way back, and then we'll, we'll just kind of bevel it forward. That's the gist of it for shaping. Uh, now I'm just going to go into a quick time lapse and, and take all the rough edges off and kind of shape it into more of a bird looking feature and that's just by taking all the hard corners off. And you take a hard corner off and it's pretty simple, it's uh, self explanatory, It'll, you'll find that shaping kind of does itself in its sense. Alright. We've, uh, we've used the chainsaw, just, just running it across to kind of give them a neck. Uh, took the hard edges off everything that we've shaped out so far. <gasps> so his, his body kind of resembles that of an upside down teardrop. Everything is still pretty rough. But we're going to dig out his feet right now, which is just making a couple triangles at the bottom, reflecting outwards. So they'll, they'll come out like this like this like that and I've decided that I'm just gonna do rocks because again I sell these carvings at wholesale so I don't I don't really get a lot of money for them All right, so that's the gist of it. How you finish this bird is pretty much up to you. I will show you how I do the beak. So for the chest, I'm just going to do a quick up and down motion all the way along, and that's going to give us the illusion of feathers. Gonna fix up the tail a little bit here.
All right, so for the wings, we're just going to do a really simple pattern. It's going to be a couple lines going down like this. And then we're going to do more aggressive lines going across them. one of these carvings. Now I'm just going to do the tail the other side and then we'll move on to the head. My first cut is up here just to determine the front brow of his eyes and then from that cut we'll go underneath it and we'll do a little line backwards and that'll be his eye sockets and then we're going to triangle out the nose and kind of cut it off here and uh, slope it down. And uh, for this one I'll be using the, just an MS-170 with the with a smaller bar on it Alright, so as far as this carving goes, due to the price point it sells at, which is quite low, I don't, uh, I don't do any more on them. And that's it. That, uh, that's your simple bird carving. Now, there you go.